artists like Carlos Villa and Betty Sayre became interested in ethnographic art in the late 1960s as one way to express their feelings of political solidarity with colonized peoples where makers were often anonymous. In works by Villa, like his iconic tattoo series and painted cloaks, we see shapes, patterns, and forms that reference, for example, kapa cloth or tapa cloth made of mulberry tree bark from Polynesia. Historically, kapa has been used for both functional and decorative purposes. A kapa cloth used as a blanket in one context might be hung on a wall in another. Now, this is definitely a Samoan piece. I know this because it is in um, the model of something called uh, siapo mamanu. Siapo mamanu means handmade siapo. Siapo is a Samoan word for both the paper mulberry and the finished product. So this particular object is unique in that it is a circular tapa cloth. The circular ones began to be fashionable after circular and round and sometimes even oval shaped dining room tables came in with Westerners. And they wanted a piece of tapa cloth to put on their table, often under a sheet of glass so that it was protected. So this particular circular siapo mamanu would have been used to cover a tablecloth or maybe as something to lay on the floor so that someone of authority could sit on it. 